What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited because I'm gonna be showing you my new vehicle, which is also the first vehicle that I've ever owned. I freaking love this truck. I can't wait to show you guys. So let's go and check it out. So before I go and show you guys this truck, I actually have a funny little story as to how I got it. So as you guys know, because I've mentioned before on this channel, I live in a small town. There is one used car dealership, which I was leaning more towards a used car anyways. And there is Upper Canada Motors, which is a GM Chevy dealership. So I went to the used car dealership back in November to see what they have. And they only had anything from 2017 to 2018. Uh, low mileage, like 20,000 kilometers on it. And they only wanted a couple grand less than up Canada Motors would want for a brand new vehicle. So I ruled them out pretty early. Went over to uh, GM, which is the Chevy dealership, and I basically gave them my information of what I wanted, something between 2010 and 2015, no leather seats, low kilometers, low mileage is what I was looking at, uh, and truck or SUV is what I was looking for. So I gave them my information. They weren't getting too many vehicles in, so I assumed, because he hasn't called me in this long that I thought I'd have to go farther away. So I was looking at other vehicles that were about half an hour to an hour away from me. Um, just pretty much pinpointing areas that I wanted to go. Because if I had to make that trip, I would want to go to a bunch of vehicles, a bunch of dealerships and look at a bunch of vehicles. Uh, he ended up calling me last week, which I was super excited for. So he called me on Monday and he called me about five o'clock and he said that he had this truck for sale. Um, it just came in on the Friday. They didn't really look at it yet. So he told me the price was 13500 Back in December, he showed me a truck and it was $12,000. Now that truck was a newer truck. It was about 2012 or 2013, but it was basically run down. Dents everywhere needed to be uh, painted because it was paint chips. So I didn't want it to buy something that was all scuffed up. Starting to rust out under the hood was all rusting and seizing. So... For me, I didn't want that truck. And for this truck that he was mentioning to me, only being $1,500 more than that truck he showed me back in December, I thought it was going to be in the same condition or very similar condition from that last truck, which it was not. Then at 6.30 on Monday, he called me back and said he also just got an Equinox in on trade. The customer just dropped it off, so I can check that out too. So I told him I'll check both vehicles out the next day on Tuesday. Uh, as long as the weather was good. So I woke up, took my shower, done everything else. I was going to go over and I seen the weather looked a little bit bad. So I was going to pass and go over on Wednesday. Went out. Uh, Dad told me just to go anyways. So I decided, okay, I'll just go anyways. Look at it at least. Whenever I went, looked at it. It was freaking amazing. It was clean. This truck is a 2010 GMC Sierra. I assumed because it has low mileage. It only has 114000 for the mileage. I assumed, even though it is a 2010, this truck is so clean, they could have got anywhere from twenty dollars to $25,000 for it. And if I didn't know better, I would be willing to pay that for this truck because it is freaking clean. But for $13,500, I checked it out. So uh, I took it for a test drive that Tuesday as soon as I got over there. I took it for a quick test drive around town. I loved how it drove. I fell in love with it pretty much instantly. I brought it home to have dad look it over. We looked over, looked everything at it because I like to know what I'm buying. So I looked at everything on it. He took it for a test drive, loved it. And he basically told me that if I don't buy this truck, he was going to, but it's my truck. I needed one more than him. So um, that's what I did. So I, I looked at it. So I went, brought it back to him on the Wednesday. He called me with a price, which I negotiated on him a little bit on the price and he told me everything it needed for safety, which they have to cover the safety because they're selling it. So it has to be good. It has to be in working order, basically. Um, it needed about $700 worth of stuff. It needed front brakes, a ball joint, uh, then minor stuff like wipers, headlight, um, different things, things like that. So $700 there. Um, it needed the plates, which instead of it expiring this year on my birthday, which is in May, it's going to go until 2020, which I'm excited for. So I don't have to go and run around my birthday to get my plate stickers because I live in Canada. That's how it works over here. So it had to be washed, which it was washed and shampooed on the uh, Thursday. And I picked it up on Friday because I was paying for it in full. I had to go to my bank. So I paid for this in full. I didn't go and do payments or anything like that because I have enough for my savings. I just needed a vehicle. I wanted to pay in full. I had to go and get my insurance and everything, which I did that Thursday. 
finished that off on Thursday, went and checked it out. And then I went and picked it up on Friday. So today is Tuesday after, as I'm recording this, I've only had it for four days. And I love this vehicle. I love everything about it. I'm glad I have it because now I can finally look for work as a security guard. And now it means I can finally apply for Canada's border because I have a way to get there to do the training and to be able to go and do all my tests prior to being selected for Canada's border. It's a bigger process for Canada's border than I thought. But now I have the vehicle to go and do that. So now... Enough of me talking, let me go and show you guys this vehicle, and I'm really excited, I hope you guys do enjoy. Here it is. 2010 GMC Sierra 1500. I freaking love it. Let's see if I can open this up here. Has a nice tunnel cover, it's just a roll up one. You guys can't really see here. It's just a rolling one. Yeah, so I definitely wanted a tunnel cover on it, that looks amazing. Coming around here, it has the window tint which I wanted. And you can't really tell, but it has a strip on the front windshield with the tent. Here's the inside, clean. In here, whenever you're driving, it's also like soundproof, which is freaking amazing. All clean. Aftermarket stereo right here. I already have the aux cord set up to it. I used to work um, automotive parts, and I know that stereo there would be about four or five hundred. Tunnel cover about four or five hundred as well. Window tint's expensive anymore. Let me show you under the hood here. Let me give you a better look at the back. See so, yeah, it? Perfect inside. under the hood everything easy accessible since I'm gonna be working on it mostly myself if it needs anything oil changes and such only thing I really have to do is top up the uh, washer fluid that's the only thing that uh, didn't come topped up amazing pants the safety Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I basically just wanted to show you guys my truck because I did mention before that I was looking for one and that I was gonna share it with you whenever I did get it. So that's what I wanted to do today. And also the fact that now having it means I can apply for Canada's border, which I'm excited for, and get working again, which again, I'm excited for, but I needed this in order to do that. So even though it did cost 15,400 even, in order to get it because I paid in full. I don't know if I mentioned that in the beginning, but yeah, 15.4 was the total price, uh, all included, which include my plates and stickers, insurance, no, sorry, not insurance, tax and the vehicle itself. So not too bad, but even though it was that much, I needed it in order to get working. So now I have it. So I, I am expecting to get to work hopefully soon. I got to put my resumes out, I already contacting a few places, but I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.